Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Shaltoud. Today we are going to talk about Laravel WebSockets. How to use Laravel WebSocket and Laravel Echo with View 3 app. What is WebSocket ABI or WebSockets? WebSockets provide a two-way communication channel between the server and the client. WebSockets allow the server to send data to the web page so that we can create real-time application because when an event happens on the server, the server can send us message immediately. Unlike Ajax, the server will stay connected after responding to the request so we can send messages and receive messages all the way via the established communication channel until the session ends. Laravel WebSocket concept. In Laravel, we create a channel in route uh, uh, channels.php, then we broadcast a Laravel event message on the channel and those who subscribe to the channel will receive the message on their browsers. That's all. So let's get started. Let's install Laravel WebSockets package uh, via Composer. Laravel WebSockets package is alternative to Pusher. It uses its configuration and packages, but it runs a web server on our local host or our host server instead of the Pusher server. So uh, this is how we can install it. Now we need to publish um, its files. Then we run migration. It comes with the dashboard. You can see. Um, okay, let's install the pusher. I fixed the problem and I needed to use um, the version uh, number seven to work it fine, works fine with me actually. Now uh, we need to make our broadcast driver to be busher in .env file. As you can see here. Now this is a pusher configuration that way uh, that was modified for Laravel WebSockets in config broadcasting.php. This data is for local and the default port uh, for local host and the default port of the Laravel WebSocket server is uh, 6001. As you can see. And uh, Okay, that's all. In .n file, uh, make sure to set your pusher ID and key and secret and cluster. We I made them all local. Okay, now we are ready to test our WebSocket server, PHP Artisan WebSocket server. Okay, let's all run uh, Laravel uh, server. BHP Artisan serve. We'll go to uh, Laravel WebSockets uh, dashboard and find it in localhost slash Laravel WebSockets. As we can see, we can connect on our port. Now everything is okay. Our server is up and running. Of our web socket server. Here, as you can see. So now, uh, let's make our server send the message to the client in a public channel that doesn't require authentication. First, we will create an event. Okay. Um, here is our event hello. 
Okay, to broadcast our event, we implement a short broadcast interface. Uh, we select the channel uh, to broadcast our event via broadcast on. Okay, and uh, just to make it channel only, we name it the channel public. Here we can name it anything else as we want. And to send the data, uh, we create another function. Um, we call it uh, broadcast with. We send the data or message for the client to receive via this function here. As you can see here, uh, it returns an array. Our key will be welcome. And value welcome to the club. Here, as you can see. So we need to create uh, a route in uh, routes. Uh, web.php file so we can test our event here we dispatch our hello event here let's open our browser already connected um, web socket here via dashboard and another uh, tab we navigate to the this route so we can dispatch our hello event and make sure that uh, everything is working fine. As you can see here, it's sent. And the in dashboard, here by default, the event will be stored in a queue job. But if you want to broadcast immediately, you should broadcast now interface. Here, let's run our queue by PHP Artisan Queue work. Now, here it runs our uh, our event. Here. So let's go to back to our dashboard and see. Here we have a WebSocket message in channel public event app event hello. Okay. So everything is working fine on our server. So we can use short broadcast now interface to make it run immediately without queue. So let's refresh it and try it again. Let's run our event. Here, no queue. This is broadcasting a lot of event on a private channel. As you can see here, this is a new class private test uh, with implementation should broadcast now. Uh, actually, uh, here uh, on a private channel, we need to authenticate the user. Okay. So here is our private uh, our class here. Uh, we will create a public user variable to hold the user data here. And we will pass this data via the, the proud function we will create later. So this user user here in broadcast on as you can see uh, we return the private channel with a channel name containing the user ID so that only that user who can subscribe to that channel like that uh, private channel one or two the user with user with with uh, ID two only who can subscribe to this channel. Okay. 
No. So let's declare our channel route uh, channel to PHP. Let's copy that. Okay. Um, here is a channel name, private test, and the ID. So let's create our test route here, broadcast private. And let's send this message for only one user. So we'll get this user here. App models user find. Whichever the ID, the only user that holds that ID would see the message. For example, five, and I, I have an, a, a user here, this is my database, so it's number two, so. Okay, and let's uh, dispatch the, the event. We need to call it here first. So let's patch and let's pass the user as a first argument. So we'll return the first name of the user just for making sure. So let's test it on our browser. Okay, here's the first name of the username and on dashboard channel uh, private, private test with event uh, uh, private test. So everything is working fine on our route. But we need to authorizing private broadcast channel with Sanctum RESTful API. I'm using Sync. So let's add a code uh, to routes abi.php here broadcast routes middleware was sanctum okay and let's uncomment the broad uh, the broadcast service provider and config slash app.php okay so by that our back end is ready uh, Laravel Echo is View 3. Laravel Echo has everything you need uh, for separated View 3 front-end application. I have created a View 3 application and I installed um, Laravel Echo and Bosher GS. Okay, with uh, the View app uh, WebSocket key and WebSocket server. As you can see here, the local host without any port. Laravel, uh, our view, three supported.in files. So don't worry about it. Just create the file in the root folder. Okay. And in mean GS file, okay, I set up Laravel Echo, as you can see here. With everything I need. Uh, here's the authentication endpoint, those endpoint, and there's a header. Here will be barrier plus the token we get from the login. Just normal Laravel uh, token. Okay, okay. So here is the setup. 
Okay, I'll, I will provide all the code in my website and article along with the, the link in the description. Here in source app.view, as you can see here, uh, I'm listening to the channel private test 2. This is the ID of the user uh, and the event uh, private test and the console.log um, the E. It's the data that's coming from the server, okay? So we can create a code to handle it. So let's test it here. Now we got the data, as you can see. So, and that's for the public channel. Here, let's come in that Windows.echo driver. But for the public, we use Windows.echo channel, OK? And public, listen uh, to the hello, the event hello. Okay, so let's test it. Here. Now it works fine. Thank you for watching and like, subscribe if you find it useful. Goodbye. Bye.